let's make a puff sleeve better one well hey everyone welcome in this video i'm going to show you how to make a puff sleeve inside of marvelous designer so without wasting any time let's start all right to make a sleeve any kind of sleeve you want to have a basic pattern just like this and if you don't know how to make a basic pattern watch this video i have explained it before making a puff sleeve i want to make a simple sleeve first how pretty simple i'm going to add or draw a rectangle first and then i'm going to add a point just in the middle and then just drag it like this right click and convert to curve point and then i'm going to curve i'm going to make the shape as the sleeve pattern just like this and then i'm going to free sew it like this i'm going to hold shift and sew it like this now i see the sleeve pattern is really small i'm going to make it bigger and then i'm going to just snap it like this and of course simulate and i'm going to sew it like this so this is a basic sleeve which looks pretty normal now i'm gonna make a puff sleeve how that's really pretty simple i'm gonna just adjust this one so basically the the sleep patterns measurement should be bigger than the normal pattern all right just like this and i highly recommend you to first freeze everything except the sleep pattern and then simulate I get the puffy sleeve but i really want bigger i mean more fluffy or something just like this and then just you can unfreeze everything now when you're happy with this sleeve now let's make it a little bit complicated well not too much okay first i'm going to select this line and right click offset as internal line so i'm going to add a half centimeter of seam lines I'm gonna hit OK. Make sure there is no point like this. Just select those, right click, and convert to curve point. Same as like here. And I'm gonna also add the internal line here. So, yeah, the same length, just like this. All right. Now I'm gonna select this, right click, and extend trim and add point to parent outline. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this. All right. Now I'm gonna select this fold arrangement tool and then i'm gonna select this line in the 3d window and of course then fold it like this it should be inward and i'm gonna also select this internal line and fold it like this and same thing with this now i'm gonna delete this sewing now i'm gonna free sew in the inner part so as you can see here, you, sh you should sew this, this point. So the extra seam allowance should be underneath the sleeve and you will get amazing seam line. All right, so free sew, just like this. You should sew it the, the inside like this. And then I'm gonna sew the outside, just like the outside. And then of course simulate all right that's how you can get the amazing seam line here and the extra stitch is in the inside i hope you understand all right now you you can decrease the particle distance of the sleeve just like this and now i'm gonna do kind of the same thing with the sleeve band how pretty simple just i'm gonna like this and i'm gonna add another inter internal line and maybe like this and then cut and sew simulate and i'm gonna make this sleep band a little bit smaller and make sure this is perfect rectangle you can adjust this sleep band just like this but this is optional now i'm gonna select this line internal line and i'm gonna add like yeah half centimeter delete this sewing and sew with the internal line and then i'm gonna use this sub layer tool and select this tool first select here and just and then select this so that's how 
this leaf will be on top of this leaf and simulate yeah much better now i'm gonna select this right click and layer clone under so i get the exact same pattern underneath and then right click remove linked editing and i'm gonna delete the auto swing and then so to this and this all right then select these four lines then right click and offset as internal line maybe five yeah five is okay and then i'm gonna show it like this simulate there you go that's how i made this kind of puff sleeve inside of cloth 3d or morpheus designer and once you're done Control d to symmetric paste to the other side and hit ok we'll simulate Alright guys, if you like this video, like this video and if you have any questions related to this video, you can comment and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to get more videos like this and I will see you next time. Bye.